I'm Grayson. If you are Grayson, then I'm Paul. No, duh, who else would you be? Now on to news. IAL seniors, your first deadline for this semester is 11.59 p.m. on Friday, September 27th. You must earn three points from the listed IAL activities on Canvas. Failure to do so may result in the loss of IAL. The NHS Library is hosting New York Times best-selling author Joelle Charbino on October 1st. She will speak to select Block 3 English classes, but is sticking around for lunch. Her books are on sale now in the library. Buy a book to get it signed. See the library staff if you have any questions. Seniors, you had your picture taken this summer. You should have received a proof in your English class. If you believe that you should have received the proof and did not, please stop by room 1208 and see Ms. Dean. All seniors will have pose A printed in the yearbook. If you're planning to order your senior yearbook, picture orders are due to Ms. Dean in room 1208 no later than September 27th. Senior retakes will take place on October 10th. If you have any questions, see Ms. Dean in room 1208. Oakley Doakley Miller's College Go Week continues. The guidance department will be sharing info about your options after graduating. So this message is for freshmen. Now that you've got a couple of weeks of school under your belt, the guidance department is ready to help you think about the options available for your future plans. Log into your Naviance student account and complete the Strengths Explorer Assessment. It will help you better understand which of your classes play to your strengths best. Go College Go! Now over to Mary with Training Today. Welcome to Trending Today, the place where we take a closer look at the things people are wasting their time on staring at their phones while waiting in the doctor's office. It's Emmy season, and Sunday night the beautiful people of Hollywood put on their most ridiculous outfits and gathered in this Microsoft theater to give each other prizes. The big winner was probably Game of Thrones, which won the Best Drama Emmy for the fourth time. Apparently no one on the Emmy committee saw the show's last episode. But anyway, the show has collected about a jillion Emmys already. One final best drama statue was a good way for the program to sign off. And now back to the other person with your meeting news. Want to join a nationally ranked and highly competitive team at NHS? The speech and debate team will hold a call-up meeting at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, September 24th in the LGI room. For more information or to RSVP for the call-up meeting, visit millerspeech.com. Interested in Best Buddies? There will be a call-up meeting in the main gym on September 30th during AL. Anyone wishing to participate needs to complete an application at bestbuddiesonline.org. Now on to the greatest duo since Batman and Superman. King Kong and Godzilla. Brian and Stewie. Now we toss it on to John Page and Vince Dawson. Hey NHS. Monday, it's gonna rain. There's gonna be some thunder. Tuesday. There's also going to be some rain. Wednesday, there also is going to be rain too. All of that's going to be around the same temperature. Thursday and Friday though, sun's going to come out. It might be partly cloudy. It'll warm up a little bit with a little bit of humidity. That's all I have. Bye. back to sports with me, Vinny, and the John Page. I'm John Page. Imagine being John Page. It's not that fun. Your varsity and JV women's soccer teams both beat Brownsburg at home this past Saturday on a successful Teachers Appreciation Day. And a thank you goes out to all the teachers for what they do to support our student athletes. Your Miller Girls cross country team came first out of 22 teams at the Crawfordsville County Invitational. Congrats girls and keep on running. Your Varsity Millers football team lost out to Zionsville on Friday 20-0. You can catch your Millers boys back in action at Franklin Central this Friday at 7. Good luck Millers. This weekend on Sunday, your Miller rugby girls and boys traveled to Elkhart, Indiana to face off against Penn, Carmel, and Carroll High School. The girls fell to Penn and Culver, but got the dub against Carroll and Carmel. The boys overwhelmed Penn, Carroll, and Carmel High School with three back-to-back -back wins. Good luck next Sunday. Now on to John with Pro Sports. Welcome to the realm of Pro Sports. I'm refusing to talk about Antonio Brown, so instead let's focus on the Colts. It was a good Sunday for the boys in blue as they got back on track, beating the Falcons 27-24. Adam Vinatieri didn't miss a kick this game and actually knocked in a 49-yard field goal. However, the Ghost, T.Y. Hilton, left the game early with an injury. 
The Colts are back this Sunday against the Raiders at home. Now back to Vince with the rest of sports. This is a busy week for Miller Sports. Today, boys tennis will be battling it out against Gurren at 5 o'clock. Then a couple hours later, the boys soccer team will be at Franklin Central at 7. Wednesday, boys tennis again at University at 5. Unified football team will be playing at Carmel at 7 o'clock. Then finally, the girls soccer team will be at Franklin Central at 7 o'clock. Good luck, Millers. Imagine losing twice in go-karting. Imagine losing in Mario Kart. That doesn't count as a real racing, John. I completely disagree, but if you want to see more great content like this, follow the link right here. Bye.